Okay, I've uh, been busy tonight doing a shooting bench. I never do to shooting bench. Needed to be heavy so it don't rock. It's got plenty of uh, support and crossbars in it. More like a normal workbench in a way. Uh, got a little table thing in just there. It can put ammunition on it or whatever. And you can see all the crossbars on it. Uh, now it's free standing as it stands. But I was thinking if we had a concrete plinth on the outside, we can drill through the bars at the bottom on both sides. Say uh, two on each side. And then use, using some threaded rod, if we had a concrete slab, we can uh, screw it onto the concrete slab. That's if it's used outside. Uh, but that is it. So I was hoping to get down the club today. I couldn't get down to do any testing. So I'd sort my daughter out. She's pregnant, so uh, I was late. So I decided, well, I'm too late for the testing, so I'll, I'll get this done. The only thing is, I don't know if it will fit through the uh, through the gate, so I might have to get a spanner out and open up the uh, the actual framework of the uh, range, which is inches, I think it is. So uh, might have to do that, but I'll, I'll bring it down tomorrow, and we'll see uh, we'll see how it fares. And on a final note, who's ever watched uh, NCIS with Gibbs? And he builds his massive boat down in the basement, and you think, how oh, the fuck's he going to get that out? <laughs> well, I've got the same problem. I've got to try and get that <laughs> through. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to have to go through the garage door, <laughs> clear all the shit out of it, and walk in through the garage. <laughs> Jesus. Oh well, I'll get there sometime tomorrow. <laughs>
if the brunch want me to make any more for the brunch, I probably will do. It's, uh, it's pretty ideal for the job. Obviously, this one's a right under. All we need to do is uh, opposite for the plan. You've got a left under, so uh, yeah. So I chose today to come down because I've been looking at the weather forecast, and you probably all know recently it's been really peeing it down around the country, which it has here. Uh, today's looking pretty good. I bought a variety of pellets down in two two to put through me uh, Webley lightweight. <coughs> and just see how the bench is uh, doing so uh, we'll get on with that test uh, it was pretty easy to get it in in the end what I was worried about was getting through the gate uh, because the gate is certainly not wide enough as you look at it uh, now you can take the fencing off but it would take about 8 blokes to lift it but luckily enough I was able to take the bottom cross button off the bottom of the table I was able to spin it in the gate that way so it was pretty easy in the end uh, so there we go so uh, we'll get on with the test now ok then uh, Got the uh, target set up at 50 yards. Uh, first pellet I'm going to put through it was the last pellet that I used, uh, which is the air on Diablo field. It's 16 grains. I'm going to do eight shot groups with each pellet. We'll see uh, what the groupings are like and the consistency. I think the lightest pellet here will be the sovereigns at 15, 8, 9, I think, and then all the rest are above that. left of me. The uh, elevation is just right. Put a cant on this. went through the same all that one. Okay. All right. Keeping the same old and everything. Uh, 
So like three more or less in a little group low left. Two at the eye point through the same hole and then the other two. I can't understand why there's a difference in the height there. Could it be the pallet way to be an effect at that distance? I don't know. Alright then. I'm not going to put another target up. I'm going to keep the same target up. Some more or less wheel waves. Or more or less know where those went. Uh, what I'll do, when I put it back on video, I'll circle each one of those so we know which one the air arms are. Uh, so then, that's the air arms. The next door, I'm going to use Sovereign's range mass, uh, day state range mass Sovereign. These are 15.9 grains. So pro probably most of these are similar sort of weight as the uh, as the air arms anyway. So we'll do we'll do this group and then we'll put a new target. Up. And also what I'll do at the end of this video, I will show you dimensions and everything for the bench. So if you want to build it based on what you can see now, you've got it, you've got all the details. Uh, the cost for this is about £60. And you can source everything from B&Q. Number arriving, can hear a vehicle coming down the road, down the track. Okay then. Well, that was a range master suffering. 